You are now aware the pig's tail looks like an ear. <laughs> You're also now aware you can build multi-directional, compact, lockable, automatic double doors. And here's how they work. These pr pressure pads automatically open it. So whenever anyone comes in, it automatically opens from both ways. All the pressure pads do the exact same thing. Always works. And you put a lock anywhere on the map you want to. But here's the most easiest way if you just want to keep it simple. Locked. Oh no, it doesn't work. And the reason you would need to have it lockable is because is if it was unlocked then this is a house made out of melons because why not <laughs> it's, it's convenient for you just going in and out but creeper could just come bust and go thank you door that's why you need a lock for automatic doors so that's how it works i'll show you how it's made Simple design, it's ignore the bats. I got the snapshot, it works in the previous versions and it still works in the snapshots, so shouldn't have a problem. Just it's five by five and too high, very compact. I put in black and white to make it easier to see. Sometimes, when you're looking at it in YouTube videos, it, you can't tell if it's one or two blocks wide, so I just made it easy for your viewing. Here's all you need, 12 redstone, 3 torches, 2 doors, 2 pressure plates. You can use wooden pressure plates if you want, and you can use wood doors, but you can open them by hand and on hard mode zombies can break them down, so they're just a lot cooler with iron doors. That's all you need. It's cheap, once you've got 15 redstone and 2 iron doors, you can make this on any map you want it, and it's compact. I'll just hover over here. You can see every bit of redstone and every block you need to do from this angle. So if you want to pause the video here, you can make it. Should be simple enough. You don't need to understand why anything happens here. It's just copy these blocks and it's done. One thing to keep in mind, just these two blocks are in one up. The rest of the brown ones are... <coughs> The rest of the brown ones are on the floor, but these two are up one higher, and these torches are on the blocks, not on the floor or anything. Other than that, I should show you enough how to make it. You can copy this. But if you're, you know a bit about redstone and you want to understand how it works, you don't have to watch this. I don't want to scare anyone off this design, but this is just to explain in more detail. Um. The pressure pads are on these two glass blocks, the other pressure pads are on this, these two glass blocks, the doors are on the middle two glass blocks. I just got them to give you reference points. What it does is, just ignore this if you don't know redstone, this is just for advanced users, I don't want to scare them off design, you don't need to know this, it's just helpful to know if you understand. So the pressure plates set off this redstone, activates this redstone, all the pressure plates are connected by the one redstone wire here, so they all accomplish the same thing, which is turning off this redstone torch because it connects into this block and turns this off. And then when this is on, this is a charge here. And when this is charged, it turns off this. So when this is off, the door up there is off in its off state. And when all like this the door up there is in its on state when you press press the pressure pads it turns off this which turns off this which activates this which activates this redstone which turns off this redstone torch which switches the doors from this one from on to off and this one from off to on and 
and that's how it works. And if you want to lock it, you just keep this redstone on. Because then press pressing the pressure plates <laughs> won't do anything to the circuit. So, what? I'll show you how to build it, just in case. Okay, you can start watching now if you, you don't need to know all that stuff. That's just if you wanted to. I'll build it opposite way because you build it any direction you want. Just pick where you want it. So you just need like six blocks, two for the pressure pads and on each side and the doors in the middle. So the doors will be doors will be here. Not like that. I'm just showing you. Pressure pads will be here. So under the pressure pads, you just want two redstone. Oh, this fraps is lagging it up. Hey, and un do it on both sides. And then you want one here. This is the one. And because it goes off to one side, you need it's five by five wide, five by five. So you just on this side you put side that's not in the middle of the two pressure pads. See how it goes off to one side from the middle? Put the torch on that side. You can rotate it if if it was here you would put the torch here, but the side it goes out. Just do that, and then put connect the reds two pressure pad ones like that. So they're both connected. Pick whatever side you want here or here. I'm just gonna do it here because it seems easier for me to do it this way. One out there, two there. Redstone, so this should be on. Torch here, and one here. That should be done. I'll test it. Think. Push, push, push. Yep, they're both changing, so that's working. That's built. Now you just need the doors the right way. The thing is, with the doors, sometimes they build awkwardly. Like you can't just put doors like that. One will always be right. The way you want the doors is to have when you're not touching the pressure plates, they're shut. So the one on the left right now is working properly, the one on the right is wrong. So, what you gotta do is put the it takes a bit of fussing around. So I'll show you the concept when there's a door, it will always have the hinges, the little black dots in the same spot unless it has there's a door already next to it will try to automatically make double doors it's like see how both the hinges are on the opposite sides so if you put one here now the hinges are on the other side compared to what it always is that's how it works you just have to mess around trying to get the right angle so i'm guessing here then it, no, it's the wrong set. I'm guessing. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, see this one. Ta da! Because, because it tried to make the double door here. So, because one is in the off state and one is in the off state, so. You need one to be off all the time and one to be on all the time. And that's how it works. And as a few more, I'll show you the locking system. Locking system works is when you keep this powered on. This little section here, these two little redstone wires. If they're on all the time, then it can't be turned off. I'll show you. See how this is connected here? 
this is placed directly above the redstone. So when this is on, it's charging the redstone down there, so it can't be turned off. Because it's locked. And when it's unlocked, when you press this button, that redstone turns off. So all you have to do to lock it is charge this redstone. Put a lever anywhere, and you're done. Put it there, and you're done a simple one. Just If you want to keep it simple, just for a simple house or whatever. But if you want to put the lock anywhere in the world, you can put it up in your base, up in a control room, up in wherever you want. Just have a redstone wire going out. I've just kept this simple. You can seal, conceal the wire if you want. This is just... But anyway, now this is sending redstone in. Oh no, it's locked. Put repeaters. You can make the wiring as long as you want. Just go anywhere. And then you've got a lock somewhere. But the problem with the levers is you can only have one lock. Or multiple ones if you want, but it doesn't matter. As long as one of the levers is on, it's always locked. Because that one's always on. You have to turn all the levers off to unlock it. That's why you can... And that's everything. And then you can do a complicated lock. This is a bit more advanced if you don't want to know this. Just... I don't want to get into it too much. I put a link in the wiki down to how to make it. I think it's called a T flip flop. It's basically when it gets a button signal, the output changes. So to lock it, you press a button and it sends the output signal of on to lock the doors because it's charging that bit so it can't be used. But when, and this will stay on forever like that, but when you press any a button again, the output will be off. So now it's open and that's how that works. It's a little more complicated, but if you just want to have a more advanced system, just the brown bits, just ignore the brown bits for now. Like it's basically just a simple T-flop, T-flip flop. You can set that up however you want, wherever you want, and just use that. And the way I have it is, have a whole button buttons, put buttons wherever you want the locks into this block, which activates the T-flip flop. And then you can put the buttons wherever you want, as far away as you want, whatever. And then put it, and then it works. So I've just put redstone lamp and a torch here to use different ways of indicating when it's on and off. Because the buttons don't have a visual indication of a lever. You never know when it's on or off. So this, this is what all the brown blocks are. Because this is the output here. The redstone comes up. And then goes back to the buttons. Makes the wiring a bit clunkier, but it's what you got to do. Um, and then just goes from the output all the way to above the buttons into a redstone torch, a redstone lamp, or a redstone torch, whatever you want, whatever you have the um, resources to build. So just press it, then it will turn the Output on and lock the door and then it'll send a signal up here. Turning this on and you just put a sign on off. And you put this way you can have as many locks as you want in the map, wherever you want, in the control room, just inside the door, in the room, wherever. And they'll all work together and you know it's not awkward like having a bunch of levers. And that's everything you need to know pretty much. Put link in the description about T flip flop, I'll put the download link in the description so you can use them whenever you if you want to download it, just make it more easier to make and it'll be cool. And and if you ever if anyone actually uses this on their map and does a cool map with it, oh well sends in a video response, I might do a review video of a bunch of them just showing off this design if you guys want to do that I don't know if this video gets enough if people like this design well enough I might do this for you guys to review video just showing off all the cool day designs or improvements anything you want to do yeah so I hope you guys it's a thing that might happen I don't know just putting it out there so. mm -hmm.